Good readings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Leo, and Mouse Gunner. Hello, who's about to make Putin great again? Well, I'm hoping so. Well, you're about oh, to form pause. the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, so. Pause, 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 pause. Alright. It's that time. The war's ended, so. Um, Can you do it? Yes. Session by Prima Genitor. I click on that. Um, I'm not getting a vote dialogue come up, so is this automatic? I, I think so. You just have to fulfill the, the requirements to push that button. Yeah, I, I can. So, okay. Do it. And I can see it. All right. Awesome. So now you can create Lithuania. Okay. Dudes want stuff, huh? Um, sure, you can get Kaiser. All right. Uh, so let's create Lithuania and create my empire, uh, or get close to being able to do that. So uh, first things first. Um, Lithuania. The eight. Okay. Kingdom of Lithuania. Right. I see it in your list now. It has got the, the right the same laws as yours, so that's good. Okay, now I'm going can to you, go to the high the empire? chief. Um I'm not sure if I can form that yet. Uh I'm at 77%, but if I gain this other territory, I'll see if I can. Alright, go ask him. Um offer vassalization. He's gonna say no. So he's gonna get smacked upside the head. Alright. Good Fair luck. War. Her claim on Polotsk. And send. Okie dokie. Go kill him. Be, can be kind. He's a kinsman. When I form the Empire, I think I'm going to have to give you a gift. Mm. But we'll see when that happens. Indeed we will. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, start marching. Do I stay put? Yeah. I guess you can do Go murder. All right, we gotta get this wrapped up in this video. So I, okay. New rival for your hall yourself. Ah, my rival is dead. Um, I don't need right. this. Now I can start considering actually looking outwards for a change. Actually, let's go do that. I believe I'm only du jour claiming one county. I think you already told me that, though. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Somebody else has declared war on him. 
or a claim on Plotsk, so I have to beat him there. I believe I have. So I'm at least going to go to the war goal. We'll figure things out. I already have 57% war score, so... I think that this uh, that helps. Nasty. Oh, he did call somebody in on this war. I'm not sure who. Good looking. Probably doesn't. As I'm sitting at 80% and I have the war goal. What are you madly clicking on over there? Oh, uh, you're at war? Uh, just trying to rally all my troops to a location where they will not get slaughtered immediately. Sounds good. Because I'm at war with Russ again, so you get the huge stack of insignificant troops. Well, I'm almost done with my war, so let me know you need me. Well, I could use you, but I don't need you, I think. All right. All right. Give me a pause. All right. You will ascend to Empire. All right. First thing, I have a warning. It says, Vassal Inheritance Warning. There are vassals with worrisome lines. Of oh, the guy I just took the line from. Okay. Um, mission. Mission is what? Five years apiece. I don't think. Done. Okay. Um. So what is the deal with this, Chief Roman of Plotsk, I Chief Vladimir of Plotsk? Um. On their death, their titles might pass from your realm. Well, I guess if that happens, it doesn't really matter. I can just uh, fight for it back, right? It potentially, yes. All right, Emperor. I have a new Bola. crown. Emperor Boleslav, the bold of the Wendish Empire. And I think my color slightly changed. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit more burgundy, I think. All right, you want to call me in? I already have troops raised. All right. Okay, where do you want me? Uh, go smack some troops around. All right, I'm gonna go to Novgorod. Novgorod. Uh, let's go there first. Okay. Um, for some reason, I don't have any ears on that side, so grab. I guess. Um, I have a council seat open. Advisor, that guy. Um, I'm a lunatic, apparently. Oh, joy. Oh, that's too many troops. More than I have. Uh, I'm going to go to this other area where there's enemy troops. Yeah, Kolomna. Can you, like, not go over rivers? There we go. That's a little bit better. I don't know. There's a lot of rivers in this area. Uh, okay, we've got minor titles. What do we got? Oh, there Here times two. Aww. Okay, your marshal has come to you with a suggestion. My lord is, in my opinion, the mayor. No, no, no. Sure. Okay. So how's the war going? Minus two? 
Uh, it's just minor bits. I mean, they're sieging a tribe, so that's not real that important. I got a pop-up that just says, I am pretty great after all, and I just lost the trait humble. <laughs> yeah. You're fantastic. The greatest. Well, since you're an independent ruler, you could uh, modify your uh, title a bit. Oh no, one of my commanders just died. Sure, you're good. Okay, and... Uh, title commander, because one died. Go. Hey. Sure. Damn. Uh, is the Teutonic Order spreading? Well, not to me for some reason, but yeah. It, uh, uh, they they got a province somewhere in... Where did they get it? Well, Denmark gave it... Ah, there it is. Uh, to the north of Sweden. There is eight and a half thousand men coming our way. I'm gonna go try and unsiege the stuff that sieged on your territory and Sorry. try and kill these 600 men as well. I'm just uh, gonna go form up my uh, main army and then I'll go smack that little pagan force. How do these guys get so fast all of a sudden? So annoying. Who do the, the tribal vessels? Well, I had a thing where it said I was going to have a battle, and then all of a sudden he just gained this big surge of speed. Yeah, that, that's the problem with light troops. They tend to be faster than uh, the game can really realistically calculate. Ah, damn it. Yeah, there's uh, 6,000, 7,000 men coming down your way to do the war goal, so you might want to know about that. I'll take care of the other guys. Damn. Well, there goes my dog. My dog! Right, uh, where no. are you going? I mean, I know my king's a lunatic and owl, but I don't think he wants to go fight the white bear at this stage. I should probably stop hunting. You might want to, yeah, if you can change your thing, but the thing is, hunting also gives you health at the moment. Yeah, you're right. You could switch to uh, a carousing or family focus, although that would increase your fertility. What was that? Which, which you thing? could uh, switch to the diplomatic fo focus for family. I believe that also gives you oh. health. Yeah, I already, I already had family a little while ago. Uh, can I remember if it goes duty search? Uh, oh, okay. My my chancellor finally died. I've outlived like a lot, a lot of people in my court. Um, well, you said you did what you set out to do. You became an emperor with a single character. Granted, you just started from a kingdom, but you know. Still impressive. I have a habit of doing this in CK2, having kings that live for, for like, ridiculous amounts of time. Well, at least you've got a good king to play with. I have had hopeless characters. You know, being a lunatic is really not that bad. I expected it but to be absolutely... at least absolute... you're not stark raving, lad. Okay. I mean, right up until you start hearing the voice of Jesus... I, I already got that one. Or I, I thought I had stigmata. I guess that's not the same. Uh, expose. Keep getting these pop ups about uh, people slandering me and things. Not really. Well, that, that could just be your insanity working against you. Oh, uh, you're probably right. 
Then mm. again, it could be real. As long as your spy master loves you, that's it's probably not a problem. Their minor tires guy. Oh, they need to repent. I want somebody that likes me to do this. Don't recalculate from that, you doofus. Okay. Um. I feel like I'm getting a lot of things happening all at once now. I guess that's the plight of being an emperor. A little bit. You could always give away one of your kingdoms uh, so you would have less vassals to worry about. Uh, okay, I gotta I gotta pause here because I believe I'm about to appoint my horse as a chancellor here. Yeah, I just did. Better hoof, I appoint thee as the chancellor of the realm. No, it's the only choice too. I have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but so, hey, well, you know, province continue to prosper under my reign. Well, you're a good king, but you clearly have lived a little bit too long. Hey, but my horse really likes me, so I guess that's good. It's also a very handsome horse. <laughs> can you see it? Go I can see it, yeah. Okay. It's a Christian horse, so that's good. Okay. Um... Oh, did I tell you but, to pause yeah. it? You can you can unpause if you want. All right. Yeah. So basically, it's an imbecile, attractive, strong, but stubborn horse, and it's a horse. <laughs> oh, I inherited some territory, but it didn't put me over my demisense, so that's perfectly fine with me. Although it's the wrong type. Uh, oh, it's one of the. Um. Uh, give me a pause while I find a person to put in charge. You could uh, always give it to the Duke of Polotsk. Yeah, but he might lose it to the title, because it gives me a pop-up for that, so... Uh, yeah, I'll give it to him. He probably doesn't like me very much. Bob. Province do I own? That one. Kind of. Oh, there it is. And you have so many titles and you can't figure out. There we go. Alright. I'm good to go. Oh, never mind. Pause. <laughs> My trusty and loyal steed, Gooderhoof, is likely to be the target of all manner of malicious attacks by my enemies to destabilize my rule. I could have my smiths forge her a set of armor to aid in protecting my most precious companion. Okay, so I have only the finest armor, which is going to cost me almost 400 gold. But I gain a lot of prestige. Uh, and... There's a couple of chances of armor. So it's how nice of armor do I want to make my horse? I don't really know what any of this does. Well, the horse armor is an in-joke, for one thing, but... It will also, it is an artifact, so you can get some prestige from it if it's particularly good. It's so, just you can't wear it yourself. So should I dump a bunch of gold into it? I mean, I do get prestige for even doing it. If you want to. I mean, you have got gold enough. All right, sure, fine. <laughs> I feel dumb. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. You also have the Axe of Parkunas, apparently. Or do I? Uh, so what did yeah, my horse gain? Ornate steed armor. It looks good. Of course, you would need to put Glitterhoof in charge of an army. Where do you see ornate steed armor? 
I'm on Glitter Hoof right now. Well, if you're on Glitter Hoof, you see that little uh, round symbol with a cup in it? What part of the screen? It's below the, the, the country shield. Oh, okay, I see. Treasury. Oh. Interesting. They can also see why that you have the axe of Bakunas, although you don't have it equipped. So should I have it equipped? Uh, I don't think you are allowed to. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it says can't equip artifact as inactive. Not sure how to activate it. You need to be a ro remover. Oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. Well, I guess it's that time. It is indeed. So, thank you all for watching for me and Mouse Connect. See you all next time.